Alright ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So today we're going to be looking at some previews of some new units in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So welcome back. Now first a quick announcement is that we're working on a 16 player tournament where you guys suggest, well rather you guys submit your armies and you guys battle each other. The winner of which is going to get a Totally Accurate Battle Simulator pre-alpha code for Steam. So I'm still working on that. It's taking longer than expected. I was like, oh, I want to have it out this weekend. And it's like, and then the weekend came. It's like, oh, I'll have it Monday. Well, I want to do it right. And I want to make sure that we have a variety of armies and really get like this bracket set up right. So that's not going to be out today. And from now on, I all I know is I want to have it done this week. We'll just keep it at that. So in this video, what I'd like is I would like formation suggestions basically the classic episode we've done in the past which is you guys submit what armies you'd like to see fight what and uh, when you place your vote by commenting in the comments section if you see an idea that you like make sure to up like that okay so now let's look at these units so first we have a thief now, these you can see one footman going up against what looks like 30, 20, 30, something like thieves. And at the end of this gif, you know, you don't really get to see the end of it, right? But on their Twitter, they showed a picture of the footman kind of just like reigning supreme. So I'm not entirely sure what the thief does. Is it really just a dude with a knife? Is it better than a boxer, better than a peasant? Because you'd think that a peasant or boxers in these quantities would have knocked the footman out earlier, right? So we're not really sure what the what this does. Plus it could be testing and this could be one of the builds that may not have made it, right? Oh, these thieves didn't actually kill anybody, right? So now we're going to get into what I think looks even cooler. There's some subtleties to this and they show off a new unit, right? At first, Will, one of the developers he uh, he was like, oh, look, look at this. This is what happens when you make muskets fire like lasers and you make them fully automatic. And they're just mowing down enemy shieldmen, spearmen, footmen. But then what's really interesting is there's two other units. Everybody dies in this clip, except for like on the blue team, except for these two what almost looks like giants. Not like the chicken man man size giants, but like maybe larger almost like so it's almost like troll like you know like super tall or d is it just me or do they seem taller they seem a little taller a little stockier than what is the normal unit size and they're carrying these huge single bladed axes that are really curved really iconic look pretty sweet and they're taking multiple musket balls and not falling that's what also kind of leads me to believe that they are in fact what would you say? I mean, that they, they might be giants since they have much better hit points. Yeah, you can see samurais, footmen, spearmen, shieldmen all getting chopped down by these like rapid fire musketmen. But that's another thing. This is what really makes me wonder what this game could become and what we might see happen. Because right now, it's like this is just a subtle tweak. What if we were to make musketmen fire so fast and instead of just like little musket balls they look like lasers so then it's like so steam workshop support which it will has said they are going to allow steam workshop support cluster truck already has user created levels and it's been out for a short time that's another game that landfall games has worked on right so i i'm a huge believer in community driven content that's one of the reasons why on this channel i've been a huge proponent and a big supporter of you guys submitting stuff and we see how they play how they fight how they battle right and now i'm trying to take it to the next level by having you versus me in those submissions we had a video out what maybe a week ago and I thought that one went really, really well. It was a lot of fun to for me to build an army blind and then, you know, put up one of the submissions that you guys voted for that uh, that one of the subscribers put up. It was freaking awesome. Like, it's two armies that, like, I would never have thought to put together, right? And now we're working on the 16-player tournament. And we'll probably do some more of those in, like, 
that's the beauty of like user created stuff is like I can come up with a lot of good ideas you guys can come up with a lot of good ideas collectively we can come up with even more better ideas you get what I mean so it's like with with totally accurate battle similar it seems like it is a no-brainer it's a no-brainer that you would want Steam Workshop support because um, I'm a big fan of a lot of games that have like Steam Workshop support. Like one of them is like Total War games. I like those. Those are more subtle stuff and they don't allow 3D models. So that's kind of a lesson I've thought is like, well, and that's because Total War Warhammer um, adding in adding in 3D models is kind of against their agreement because there's a lot of intellectual property and big lawyer and all this big money stuff going on, right? But with an indie game studio like Landfall Games, and a game like Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where really, it's not totally accurate at all, and that's like the beauty of it, but what if someone made a mod that it actually was totally accurate? What if like you see the lasers coming out of those rapid fire muskemans, what if like people were like, oh, well I wanna make my guys look like stormtroopers, right? And then they're, they have terrible accuracy, so you see these guys like shooting red lasers all across the map, missing all their targets, right? What if someone's like, oh, I want to take a Hawacha, and instead of firing those little rocket arrows, you know, I'm going to fill those little holes with muskets, and I'm going to aim it down at like, you know, a 45 degree angle, or a perpendicular, or parallel to the ground, and then it's like a, a machine gun, it's like a Gatling gun, like you could, you could put anything. Oh, I want to take these guys and shrink them in size by like 40%, and make them like like uh, pygmies, right, with little blow dart guns, and I'm gonna give them feathers, you know, because like, why the fuck not? You could do anything, right? So, anytime I see this, like, my imagination goes wild, and that's one of the main reasons why I'm so captivated by this game, is A, it's entertaining to watch. It's almost like a game that you set up and then you watch, so it's a bit of playing it, and it's also very big as a spectator event for me, as well as for viewers of this channel, like viewers of the video, but it's also, it's just so fun to watch. I love the ragdoll physics, I love the derpy sounds, like it's funny to see how units play out and then subtle changes how it affects them later in other updates and stuff like that. But what I'm just chomping at the bit for, and I've said this in probably every other episode, or like one out of every three or four episodes, it's just like how excited I am for the user created content for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Because there's like a number of units I wanted to make. And what I thought was cool was I was always a big proponent, like I would love to see Samurais put in. And they've added a unit with a Katana. And I think over time they're really gonna be able to make that, fine tune it, right? Because right now I think the, the, the uh, Katana wielding Samurai isn't what it could be, but then hey man, wouldn't that be kind of cool for me to be able to do that in the Steam Workshop? To edit it, to change it, to, to alter the statistics? I would make it a little faster. And I want this ability where he kind of waves the sword back and forth, but there, it probably would re you know, require a little bit more uh, coding. I don't know. I'm not a programmer. I don't know this stuff. I don't know how difficult it would be. But it would be really cool if he wags the, uh, the samurai sword, the katana around, and he can block incoming arrows or musket balls. Right, not all of them, but at a certain rate. If there's like one per every one or two seconds, you know, and the animation worked, wouldn't that be cool? If a samurai could like block arrows and he's coming at you at like, he's a little bit faster, like maybe 10, 20% faster than other units. So like, he's a hard charging unit that can defend himself against range units, close the distance and start chopping up rows of archers. Wouldn't that be amazing? Granted, that guy would have to cost a lot more, but there's just so many things you can do. Like that axe guy, I swear he's oversized. I don't know if it's just me or what, but the proportions definitely look different. And there's a reason why all the units died except for those two. And they were taking shots, you know? You saw that at the end of the clip. Granted, they were a little bit back, so what if they just started taking clip, taking shots? I don't know. There's so much speculation about it, and that's the beauty of it is uh, I'm, I'm big on like games in their development because it's, it's fun to see what happens, what are the decisions, where they're going, why, right? I think, I think games with this kind of potential just really captivate me. And I think it's clear that they really captivate you guys as well. So basically, this is a little preview 
of some units that we might get. Now, I obviously asked Landfall and Will, I was like, yo, when are, when are these coming? Because I want to play them. There was no con confirmation on when they would happen, but we do know that there's been two units previewed so far. We've got the Thief armed with these little daggers, and apparently a big group of them cannot take down a footman, at least in that build that was shown in the GIF. And then we've got these, what seems to be slightly oversized giant axe-wielding units, which can take multiple musket lasers, or at least that's what it appears, but you know what? Everything can be changed! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on that like button if you really do enjoy Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We are still working on the 16-player tournament, so you can go to those videos and leave your suggestions, or rather your submissions, for your army. The rules were pretty simple. 25 units max, 2,500 money spent max. Um, and, you know, we're going to see who's going to win the tournament. The winner of the tournament's going to get a code. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fun stuff. I'm so glad you're a part of it. I'm glad to be a part of it. I'll see you guys in the next video.